System UI error is one of the common bugs in many Samsung phones and tablets over the years. In this video, we bring you an updated list of possible solutions that you can try to deal with this error. When dealing with a system UI error, there are a number of troubleshooting steps that you can try because many factors can cause it. Here's how. First, refresh the system. System UI app is one of the default apps that Android uses to do certain tasks and just like any other app, it can encounter bugs due to a wide range of causes. Some of these bugs may develop after leaving the device running for a long time. You can minimize the chance of assumes by regularly rebooting a device. Make sure that you turn your Samsung device on and off at least once every few days. Just press and hold the power button on your phone or tablet and select restart. Next, force quit system UI. System UI is designed to run constantly in the background and sometimes it can encounter new changes that the system may not be able to resolve. There are two other ways to directly troubleshoot system UI app other than force closing it. One is by clearing its cache and the other is to return all its settings to factory defaults. Clearing an app cache will erase the temporary set of files or cache which may have become corrupted or outdated. This usually occurs after an update. After deleting the app cache, the system will rebuild a new cache so you don't have to worry about losing anything. Resetting an update will revert all settings of an app to defaults. This means that the system app will return to its original programming like when the device was first unboxed. Keep software and apps up to date. Updating apps and Android software is one of the effective ways to fix system UI has stopped error. Make sure that you check for updates in the Play Store regularly. By default, any Samsung device is configured to notify if there's an available software update. All you have to do is to tap on the notification about it to start downloading the update. However, you can also manually check for software updates by going under Settings. Then, Software Update. Then, Download and Install. Next, check for Rogue App. Some Android problems may be directly due to a bad third-party app. To see if there's a malware or broken third-party app in your Samsung device, try rebooting into safe mode. In this mode, no app that's not part of the original software package, pre-installed, can run. If your Samsung phone or tablet works normally without a system UI error on safe mode, that means that you have a bad third-party app problem. Lastly, factory reset. The most effective way to fix system UI error on any Samsung is factory reset. If the solutions earlier has not helped up to this point, you can consider wiping the device. Factory reset will erase your personal data, so make sure to back them up ahead of time. You can create a backup using Smart Switch Samsung Cloud or Google Cloud. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.